guys, my name is Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday the 18th of October. It is crazy to me that we are like over halfway through October and spooky season and everything like that. I am really proud of how much I've read so far and I'm eager to read even more this week and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to show you my TBR for this week. I have a fairly ambitious TBR because all of the books on here are fairly big but we're nothing if not ambitious. I believe in us. I believe in me, I believe that I can do it. So the first book up on this TBR is the one that I'm currently reading. I started it yesterday on Sprints with Bisma and Soph and it is Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco. I am so excited to continue reading this book. This is the sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked and I read that at the start of this month and I am just loving this book even more. It has everything that Kingdom of the Wicked didn't have and Kingdom of the Wicked had a lot, like it was really really good up until the ending but this one is just 10 times better and it is new adults instead of YA and I'm loving it so much. My plan is to finish this probably tomorrow. Obviously I would like to finish it today but I do have a lot to do today and it is like 500 pages. I'm currently on page 137 and I have like this annotation key, like I'm going all out for this book and I'm very excited to read it. I would highly recommend this series. Then the next book on this TBR is a fairly thick one and one that may take me a while to get through but also so I feel like it will be a fast read because it's kind of a graphic novel and it is Thorn Hill by Pam Smite. This is like a 500-600 page book and I'm really excited to read this. I'm not 100% sure what this is about. All I know is it's kind of spooky and I think it has like haunted house vibes. A lot of it is in graphic format however there are certain chapters that have text as well so I do think it will take longer than the average graphic novel to read but also I think it will be pretty fast and I'm very excited to read this and Sophia is reading this as well and it's gonna be so much fun. And then the final book on this TBR, obviously I would like to get to more but this is like the main three that I want to get to, is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily Dansforth. I am so excited to read this. This is actually another buddy read with Bisma and Soph. We have literally read all of the same books this month and I'm here for it. So this is like a very very thick book. It's kind of like a gothic horror book and I'm really excited. So this book takes place in 1902 where there are these two girls going to this all-girls school and they are in love with each other and then they get murdered and it's like very very suspicious and then a number of more people get murdered from this school so they decide to shut down the school for good and now like maybe 50 years later or something a Hollywood movie company is opening up the school again to do like a documentary on these murders and like film in the school and suspicious things are happening once again and I'm very excited to read this. It is a 600 page book possibly even more than 600 so I'm not 100% certain if I'll get to finish it this week but I will make my best attempt. I am going to like section out this book on what I want to read per day, but we're gonna see how it goes. So yeah, that is my TBR for the week. Obviously, if I get to any other books or if I change my mind on any books, I will let you know because I'm not gonna be too strict. But also, this is very possibly one of the last weekly vlogs of spooky season. I think I have told you about this in other vlogs, but in case you're new to the channel or in case you just didn't see them, at the end of this week, so on Saturday, my cousin is coming home from England and she is my best friend in the whole world. Like, we are six months apart in age and we haven't seen each other in two years because of COVID and she's coming to stay with me for a week and I could not be more excited, but I'm hoping to kind of read as much as I can this week because I won't be reading next week. So that is my plan for this week. I do have a lot of other things to do as well like cleaning my house and just getting ready to have somebody stay in it for a week. I also have to do a little bit of work for my grandparents and then I also have a lot of schoolwork to do. So between all that and reading these three tomes it is going to be a very busy week and I'm very excited to take you along with me. So I'm gonna stop talking right now, get back to work and I will talk to you later. Hi, okay so it is now Tuesday and it is about midday. I just wanted to give you a reading update because I haven't read anything so far today because I've been busy but I did read some more last night and I got to chapter 16 which is page 216 and I'm loving this book so so much like things are kind of being revealed and I have an idea about a plot but also like I'm still kind of confused and I am just really interested because I know that this second half of the book is going to absolutely blow my mind even more than the first half like I want to finish this but also I know that this is probably going to be my favorite book of the month so I don't want to rush it but also so like I really want to finish it but then I don't want to finish it because I know the sequel isn't out for like another year and it's going to end on a cliffhanger. If I don't get to finish it today I will hopefully just make decent progress and then I will get to finish it tomorrow but I'm really liking this book. I think I'm going to kind of just like postpone Playing Bad Heroines for like a couple days. I might start it later this week 
but it's just so big and intimidating and I don't know but yeah I just want to read this and I just need wrath in my life and I'm annotating it as you can see I have lots of tabs <laughs> So it is currently Tuesday evening, it is 9.40 and I have just settled in to read for the evening. I'm currently on page 244 so I have read a little bit more with soap and I'm really excited to just continue. I'm aiming to get to at least page 300 today. If I do read past that, amazing. I kind of do want to finish it tomorrow so we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to dry my hair right now and get back to you. Misty is right there. She's been there for like an hour. Hey besties, okay it is Wednesday and it is just about midday and I haven't really read anything today but I have been editing. I have to schedule and upload all of the videos that I want to put up this week and next week so it is quite a hefty workload but I can do it. So I wanted to give you an update on Kingdom of the Curse because I'm really really liking it. I do have a few critiques just a few but it's not really hindering my enjoyment of the book so I'm on chapter 20 which is page 272 I was reading last night for a little while and I'm kind of hoping to finish it today because like I'm on almost page 300 there's only like 430 pages in the book I can definitely finish this today if I really try but I do have a couple other things to do as well the one thing I will say is that like the only thing that is like really going on in this book is perhaps the romance I don't mean to be too harsh when I say that because trust me I am living for the romance Wrath and Amelia I would literally die for them like I love them so much and I love this book I love the romance everything like that amazing however there's like so many questions that I have and so many questions that Amelia has and so many like backstory questions that need to be answered and they just keep not being answered. Me and Soph have been texting about this book a lot because obviously we're reading it at the same time and we're like more or less the same place and we both kind of have the same idea for what the theories are. I mean Soph is the one coming up with the theories because I'm just here for the vibes, I'm just here for the <laughs> for the smut but like when she comes up with a theory I'm like exactly. I am loving it. I definitely think that maybe the plot twist is going to be quite obvious. Maybe, I don't know if it is gonna be that plot twist, but I have to say I'm really, really liking it. But it is so cold today. Like I'm wearing my winter jumper. We're vibing. It is so freaking cold. Um, But also I'm kind of living for it because the past few days have literally been like 18, 19 degrees, which it is the end of October. Like it has never been that warm in Ireland at the end of October, like guaranteed. Um, But yeah, it is definitely colder today. It's like 10 degrees and I'm living for it. I think I'm gonna light my fire, get all cozy. I do want to read but also like I know I have other things to do before I get to sit down and read. So we're gonna do them. We're gonna go as fast as we can and I will get back to you with more updates when I have them later. <laughs> besties it is currently thursday well technically friday now because it is one in the morning and i'm on facetime with bisma and i wanted to give you an update because i have finished kingdom of the cursed by carrie menescalco i have many a thought about this book and i don't really know how to perfectly articulate this so if this is a bit chaotic i probably will try to refilm it in the morning otherwise we're just gonna go with it. I will say that I don't think this is a five star read and that kind of really disappoints me. There's a lot of elements that I loved in this book. I love Amelia, I love Wrath. The ending of this was less frustrating than the ending of the first one but also it left me wanting more which is a good thing I suppose because it means that you're excited for the next book but also it's kind of frustrating because not a single question was kind of answered in this book from the first book and like yes they were but also they were kind of answered with more questions. The enemies to lovers in here, amazing, chef's kiss, the annotations, I have so many things annotated in this book like 
so many I might do a flip through tomorrow. Loved the fact that it was new adult. I think the book was really really good. So this is about 440 pages. For about 400 pages there wasn't much going on. It was basically just Amelia and Wrath interacting and Amelia was such a dumb bitch in this and then in the last 30 pages like everything kind of happened she started like learning everything but then it was kind of like she knew it all along but also she didn't know it all along and it was weird it was like Kerry was like holding off every single exciting plot point until the last 30 pages which like I appreciate it made it exciting but also it felt like really rushed like I there were times that I didn't really know where we were because she was just like running all over the place saying that <laughs> those are a lot of negative things but I loved this book I do think that the plot twist was a little bit obvious at least the main one was but I don't know it was good I can't wait for book three it made me want book three like now I think I'm gonna give it like a four star slash 4.5 really really enjoyed it but it's not perfect if i could compare this series to another series it would be from blood and ash not necessarily like the whole plot or anything though it is similar i would just say like the enemies to lovers vibe wrath and hawk are kind of similar and also just the fact that like it's mostly romance with a side of plot and this one kind of has a side of mystery as well but also like the mystery is kind of underdeveloped also i don't think i updated you but uh yesterday which was wednesday yeah i ended up reading a short graphic novel that was on kindle unlimited it was like 40 pages or something and it was called between the lines it was really cute anyways it was 30 pages we don't need to go in more but yeah it is 1am i think i'm going to stop talking right now i possibly may read a kindle unlimited book i want to read scream for us i'll see if i do that but i will update you tomorrow hello besties it is currently 5 40 in the evening and i have actually not come on here to update you in a couple days it is currently saturday the 23rd of october and i just was so busy the last couple days i was trying to like prepare my house because my cousin is coming over and i wasn't really reading anything i didn't really know what i wanted to read so i just didn't update you. So I think the last time I talked to you I told you that I finished Kingdom of the Curse by Kerry Maniscalco and I wanted to talk just a little bit more about it so I loved this book. Um, yes there were things that were not perfect but you know what sometimes when you're going into like a fantasy romance book you just kind of need to accept the fact that it's not going to be perfect the whole time and I really really enjoyed the relationship in here so I think I did give this a 4.5 star slash 5 star slash 4 star. I'm not thinking too much into it I'm just giving it what it is and I really really liked it plus it did take me a week to read which I feel like did also hinder my enjoyment I say this every time a book takes me like more than three days to read but when I'm reading a book for like more than three days it does kind of take down my enjoyment of the book it shouldn't but it does but yeah I'm really really excited for book three there is so much that she can do with the direction that this book is going in. Um, then I also did finish a book that same night. I stayed on Sprints with Bisma until about 2 a.m. and I read Scream for Us by Molly Doyle, I think. It was the weirdest fucking book I've ever read, but oddly I liked it. It was a Kindle Limited romance book, need I say any more about the content of this book? No. And I was thinking it was going to be a five star read, but then there was this thing in here where our main like love interest, um, he just like went in and like murdered five guys and then she was just like wow that was so hot and it was very strange but I read it I gave it three stars because listen sometimes my book ratings do not necessarily mean anything I'm just here for the vibes I'm just here for the enjoyment they don't mean anything I don't know what I'm talking about it's okay but yeah so that is what I read I have now read 14 books in the month of October which is amazing and I'm honestly okay if I don't read any more. This is the very exciting weekend. I am so so excited like it genuinely feels like Christmas to me because my cousin is coming over today. She's currently either on the plane or she's just landed in Ireland and I am so excited to see her. Like I know I've said this so many times during this vlog and we're just gonna have the best week uh, which is why I think that I will be ending this video soon but I have read 98 books this year and 100 books is my goal so I have two books left to get to that. Um, ideally I would love to read it this week 
weekend because I'm not getting to see my cousin until tomorrow afternoon so I do still have today and tomorrow to read. I was meant to read Plain Bad Heroines this week with Soph and Bisma and that didn't really happen because we were reading Kingdom of the Cursed and also this is just a really huge book and I really don't think that I'm in the mood or the headspace to read this book right now and I'm gonna stop talking right now, make myself some dinner, cozy up, light the fire and read because I am so excited. This may be the last talking update of the video. If it is, thank you so much for watching. Happy weekend, happy Friday, happy almost Halloween. I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I love you.